So today we're going to be talking about your getting things done style. This is Kathy Vartuli from IntimacyDojo.com. And Reed Mahalko from ReadAboutSex.com. And when I have the green Sex Geek Summer Camp shirt on, this is a business advice video with grapes <laughs> for sex educators. So we were getting things ready for camp and talking about the different things that Reed was going to teach. And one of the things that came up, he does a lot of getting th or different styles. You're, dating your species. Yeah, cool down styles. You're dating your business model in business. Yeah. So they're really good. And so he suggested um, a getting things done style. Mm -hmm. And we geeked out a little bit on it. And yeah. we wanted to share some ideas. Yeah. So ideas. So the, 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 the big concept is to understand um, that you may have a various ways of being productive that actually are congruent and work really well for you. But you probably just unconsciously copy and pasted other ways that other people were productive. Maybe you read a business book or this or that. You saw your um, mom and dad doing things and you just like, that's how you do work. And so you kind of copied and pasted. And, and that a lot of us don't really have a lot of control over our productivity. And it might be because you just inherited or picked up a, product, a productivity style that isn't really your self-expression. And that's where this idea of what's your getting things done style came out of our conversation yesterday. And there's a PDF if they go to, do you remember the link? Oh, good lord. We'll put the link down below and on the video, but there's a link where you can download a PDF that will walk you through the steps. But part of it is just being conscious. So what we recommend is taking a nice deep breath and closing your eyes. Not if you're driving. If you're driving, please open your eyes. That's what Kathy does. You, do. okay. so you recommend this. I mean, I, I approve. but. Yeah. Um, and remember a time when you got a lot of things done. And what were the conditions under which you did that? Were, why are you laughing? Because I'm laughing because our productivity styles are very totally different. different. I'm just like, wow. But we can time I'm imagining. But we can Venn diagram. But we can Venn diagram. Go. Yeah. Um, but at least knowing is really powerful. Mm -hmm. Like, was there a lot of noise in the background? Like, some people love music. My dad loved to have noise in the background. My mom had to have the room absolutely quiet. Mm -hmm. um, is it that you like certain kinds of music? Like when you, you like music, I tend not to have music. Mm -hmm. Some people get a lot done with the TV on or the news on. Mm -hmm. um, were you sitting at a desk? Were you sitting in, you know, were you in your couch or you're outdoors? Just becoming more aware. And in the PDF, there's more details, but just kind of being aware of what was, what was going on in the environment where you, how could you set yourself up to be more mm -hmm. productive? Um, and then rating that from zero to ten, like how important did it feel like? Like maybe it was at your desk, but that doesn't feel like it was critical. Yeah, or music, television, silent, that doesn't feel important. Right. Whereas other people, it's like, no, I need classical jazz to really get in my groove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like Reed and I are different. He likes music. I tend not to think about it. But when you play like rapper music, I... I can't focus very well, but when there's certain music that I'm fine with. Sure. So that we can Venn diagram. Yeah. Yeah. We understand what works for each of us and then we can start to figure out what the good fit is. And I'm fine. I can still get stuff done without the music. It's not that important to me. Mm -hmm. um, but for some of my thinking and some of my productivity and some of, especially the difference between like heavy thinking productivity and then task doing. So me working on, you know, formatting something for my website, readaboutsex.com, um, very different than, maybe different, it may be different for you, than when I'm mapping out like what I want to be doing for the next three years. Mm -hmm. So there's different kinds of getting things done. Um, and you really looking for, well, what has me really drop into my groove? Mm -hmm. So, you know, if, if you're somebody who's like, God, I got to enter in all these email signups from my workshops um, because you haven't figured out how to hire an assistant yet or, you know, go to Fiverr.com and hire somebody to do it or TaskRabbit, or maybe you just like doing that because it's good for you to be a little bit mindless and zone out and just do data entry. Well, what do you need to really get into a groove for data entry? Yeah. You know, maybe it's like, you know what, my groove, 2 a.m., you know, with a cup of tea or a glass of wine and some, you know, hip hop or whatever, and I'm just in it. Yeah. Getting things done, but also feeling more recharged. Yeah. Or depleted in that great way. Yeah. Where you like you're spent, but it's the it's a refreshing spent. Yeah. And it's also important to notice what really depletes like what what doesn't work. So 
I recommend like, like kind of going back to a time where you it was really frustrating to get things done and noticing what were the big factors there. Was it noisy when you needed to be quiet? Were you super tired? Were you in an environment that didn't work for you? What time was it? Yeah. Um, and then understanding that, you know, sometimes what you think's going on as you start to identify this, there's all these variables. This is just a place to start. Mm -hmm. There are all these variables that might be happening. You might think, oh my goodness, I'm a night owl. I really get things done from the hours, you know, between, you know, 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. is my best window. But really what's happening is it's not really that you're a night owl. It's just that it's quiet. the twins you just had tend to sleep then and you have peace and quiet where you can get more done. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it was, you know, when the kids are like eight or whatever, um, you know, then it, that shifts for you. So again, it's not always going to be the same for every situation. And what you think is happening might not actually be the truth. But starting to try to identify your styles can be really helpful and allow you to leverage how you get things done in a way that fulfills you more than drains you. Yeah. Do you want to share anything else? No, I think that's good. Yeah. Please let us know what you think. Leave comments below or ask questions. Yep. How do you get things done? What's your style? Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. And please subscribe to this channel there if you'd like to see more of you, Reed and Kathy. There's more videos there. I can see them. Why are they there? <laughs>